Good morning, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us for now our 18th live stream, and we're back in beautiful Tlacopaki. It's autumn here. The Christmas lights are going up. Today is Farmer's Market, and as everybody says that lives here in Sedona, uh, Tlacopaki is the heartbeat of Sedona, and today proves that it's bustling, and we're having lots of visitors, so we, we love that you're here with us today, even if it's, if it's through the camera. We'd love to have you, so please chime in. Randy is here, Lee's here, and Jen Farnsworth here <laughs> is here. So let's get Fritzy, you know him, off camera. So let's just say um, you're having a tough day at work, and it's gloomy outside, it's winter time, and you're short on vitamin D. So you need some sunshine, right? So then you come home, <laughs> and you see this. Now, if that doesn't brighten your life up, what wouldn't? I mean, it's just amazing. <laughs> and so if every painter or sculptor that we have in here, if their work comes through and shows their personality, I can't think of a better example than Jen. <laughs> so Jen, thank you so much for coming. Thank you, we Ken. We can't wait thank to see you, what Monica. you have. So we have a story to tell. <laughs> yes, we do. So now we've been tracking Simba, the casting and sculpting of Simba. And then so you surprised us by painting a portrait of Simba in yes. honor of Simba and everything else. And then you went a step further and you said, okay, well, if this painting sells, I want to donate $500 to Southwest Wildlife Rehab Center and the Run and W Rehab Center. And so you put the news out two days ago mm -hmm. before it even got here. Mm -hmm. I got a text yesterday from Ron and Christine Sidaway and it's sold. <laughs> it, so you get to debut the piece. So come on Wonderful. over and let's, let's do this. Okay, see if I can do it without knocking it over. <laughs> that is amazing. So here's the really great thing. Jen had a good idea since the, the Ron and Christine bought the coyote. Where's the photo of the coyote? And so here we have Don Coyote, bold and beautiful. Yeah. And you can hold that to your side there, Ken. Okay. So as this is the last demonstration, I think it was our segment four and five on the live stream that you painted that live here. Yeah. And the Sidaways bought this virtually almost as we got off camera on the second yes. day, right? So they get this and your idea is? That it's a very nice pair because the paintings are the same size mm -hmm. and they are both of course apex predators mm -hmm. and they're kind of aware of each other looking at each other <laughs> so when the sitaway saw this painting the background hadn't been painted in that's yet that's right that's so right. your idea is to make them now kind of a, be a wonderful pair a pair yes so i think it's a great idea <laughs> so without further ado would you like to show us how you're going to paint the rest of the absolutely. background absolutely absolutely ken okay thank you. i'll leave it to wonderful. you wonderful Good morning, everyone, and thank you, thank you, Monica and Ken, and a huge, huge thank you to Ron and Christine, wonderful supporters of the arts, and I was just absolutely thrilled, and um, they're not only supporters of the arts, but of course they love wildlife, and uh, want to do all they can to support our beautiful wildlife and the institutions that make us possible to see some of these incredible animals up close. Hey everybody, did I tell you what, we're live and this, <laughs> we had technical difficulties. So let's go back a little bit now and talk about Jen Farnsworth. So what I was saying is, and you couldn't hear me, was can you imagine if you're having a bad day at work, it's cloudy, it's gloomy, you come home and you open the door and you see something like this hanging on your wall. If that doesn't make you smile, I don't know what would. <laughs> and so as I said earlier too, if you're short on vitamin D, you can get vitamin D from Jen's painting. They're so bright. It's like getting a sunshine. So also what I was saying is it's interesting as an artist to see our artist's personality come through in their work. Jen is a, a light beam, a thunderbolt, <laughs> a spark of life for all of us, and that is what's conveyed in her work. So here we go, Jen. Thank you, Ken. Right. Good morning, and thank you, everyone, for your patience. We appreciate it, and good morning, Monica and friends. Um, so, we're telling the story of Simba today, and Ken asked me um, why I decided to do Simba. And we've all heard the story of this magnificent mountain lion that Ken spent time with some years ago. And we've all had the pleasure of watching him create this incredible 
sculpture of Simba. And now seeing it immortalized as he turns it into a bronze sculpture. And I thought, I have to paint Simba. He's so beautiful. And I feel like I know him because we've heard the stories, Ken, mm -hmm. that you've told. And just to remind you, for those of you who haven't seen him, I would never want to get this close to a, a mountain lion. But there's Ken with the real life Simba. Um, as he's studying him, learning his features, learning his personality, which of course he puts into his art as well. And there's the magnificent Simba, just an incredibly beautiful mountain lion. And I wanted to capture the essence that Ken also captured, having known this beautiful animal. So here's just a quick shot of Ken's sculpture, again with the real life Simba. And so, there he is in full color. <laughs> so, Jen, I have to interrupt and say, now back to the story on this piece. So you, you debuted this piece via our social media right on yes. Wednesday. Yes. And Christine and Ron bought this before he even got here. Which was just incredible. And I can't thank our dear friends and clients, Christine and Ron, enough who are just wonderful um, lovers of, the, of art and supporters of the art world and the community and especially our wildlife that yeah. they so enjoy watching and what a treat and they knew and you know Ken that um, we made a decision that when this painting sold in honor of our wildlife and those organizations that are so important to caring for our wildlife um, go there's going to be a $500 donation $250 each to the Run and W Wildlife Center, which is home to my little mascot, Don Coyote, who I painted last time. And then of course, Southwest Wildlife, who coincidentally has not just one, wild, uh, one new mountain lion, this yeah. is a beautiful new mountain lion that has just come to be a permanent resident there. But just a few days ago, um, as if we didn't need an overload of cuteness this morning, they got two baby kittens Isn't that have that come in from California. Their mother passed away, um, unfortunately. And I like, this is on there. I took this from their um, social media page. And if you take a look at the tiny little, oh, claws, little claws there, yeah. and somebody's comment was um, murder mittens. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I have to say, too, if you go on our website, on the home page, there's a link to Run and W and Southwest Wildlife Rehab Center. So please don't be shy. Go on there and check it out. And Jen, also in terms of this painting, when the sitaway saw it, you didn't have this blocked in the background. That's right, I didn't. So you had a brilliant idea. They bought your last coyote from your demonstration. And so we thought, well you thought, what a great pair this would be if you pulled in the same background color yes. as here. And now they're a matching pair, And basically. they are sort of, looking at each other they're aware of each other i mentioned before they are two of our great apex predators here in arizona and they are they're cautiously respectful and i tried to capture with symbol what you had captured ken which was just that knowing look um mm -hmm. that he has and the behaviors that you described mm -hmm. that he's a cat and he had patience up to a point right yeah <laughs> up to a point well you captured him well i can't wait to see what you're going to do so we get to watch you now finish yes. the background. Yes. And of course, I'll tell you too, this, this uh, print is much smaller than the painting itself. Yes. So the painting is quite a bit larger. The so painting is the same exact size, yeah. which is really nice. So they'll make a really lovely pair. Okay. And when I was looking at this, trying to think about what to do, it's always a bit of a challenge. Now his colors are a bit deeper and richer uh, than the Dawn Coyotes. And I wanted him to really pop, but I also wanted to give Faye, as I did with Don Coyote, Bold and Beautiful, the, um, the day and night. Because, of course, they're out all day, um, 24 hours a day. Nighttime is their time um, and the daytime. So I think I'm going to go with um, a, a, a lighter blue than I did with Don, kind of a, a, a lighter to darker. So let's see how it looks. And, of course, one of the beauties with oil paint is we can tweak it. I had a few instincts to go really wild, maybe just go magenta or purple or green. Um, that still might happen, but let's see how this comes together. <laughs> Jen, we have a couple people coming in, viewing, just commented in, Daryl Sarno. Daryl, good morning, 
hello, Boston. <laughs> Way to go, Jen Farnsworth, Daryl says. And Eugene uh, Delaney. Yay, Jen. Oh, Jean. Good morning, Boston. <laughs> go, go, Patriots. Go, Pats. <laughs> uh, Betsy Klein, beautiful. Oh, Betsy. Betsy, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, how are the wolves? <laughs> So let's just say, um, this being oil paint, takes a long time to dry. Yes. If the Sitaways wanted a little bit different hue, we could change it, or you could change Absolutely. it, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's say that they're not going to pair the paintings together, mm -hmm. but in different rooms, and they wanted something that was um, a little bit of different background. Abso absolutely. I think what we've captured, I attempted to capture with Simba, uh, was his character in the colors. And so... The, b the background, we can absolutely um, modify and make some changes. Jen, a couple more folks. Step Thorne, Hurton, I hope I'm yes, saying that correctly. Yes, good morning. And oh, uh, Joseph Zani. Uh, Step Thorne's here. And Joseph, you're amazing on the fly. Great job. <laughs> Rosemary Farnsworth. Oh, good morning, Rosemary. Great to see you in action. Oh, thank you. Thank you for tuning in again. It's, it's just great. What a great way to start the day with art, right? Especially yours. <laughs> now, I always love how the colors will transform a piece. And I did something a little different. I like doing a really thin coat of just the magenta that you see here. And I'm like, oh, I'm kind of liking that. Because, you know, normally I go with like a, a really... Uh, strong red halo or something like that but this time i wanted to do something a little a little different there now this has um it's a little bit hard to see in this light but a little bit more of the turquoise green which i also really like and um I've been thinking of doing more green in my paintings because I know that Monica loves green. <laughs> got Bruce Grenner, guys. Good morning from Bruce. Austin. So happy to see Jen's amazing talent Good action morning. again. Hello, Thank Welcome, Austin. Bruce. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce, for chiming in. Yeah, it's, isn't it wonderful, Ken, how art brings us together, Yeah, you know, and, um, and so does wildlife. Experiencing the joy of the wonderful wildlife we have, honoring it through our art um, is just a very special experience. Well, and being able to bring it home. One of your pieces in your house is bringing nature inside, so we all crave that. Yes, I, you know, I think... Art makes us smile, yeah. you know, and... So if people haven't learned by now, of course, the purples, magentas, and blues are some of my favorite colors. <laughs> Love to work in the primary colors. Um, but like all artists, I, you know, I try to experiment a little bit and go outside my comfort zone. And I've always found it's really important to just pick some, pick some times where I'm just gonna have fun with painting. Not for a purpose, just do anything wild and crazy that comes to mind. And, and just work more instinctive that way. Yes. Well, I love your painterly strokes. It's not overly done. There's a lot of texture and there's movement in the background too. Well, thank you. I tried because you are known for your painterly strokes in your sculpture. Wow. And so I was trying to capture some of that um, when I was doing Simba. Well, I think I've learned more from painters with texture than I have from sculptors because you have, what do they call it, the economy of strokes. You can't paint too many strokes on a piece or it turns to mud, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, and that's... That's, I think that's happened to all of us at one time or another. <laughs> yeah, her, Jen, yeah. we have Ron Sidaway. Uh, Ron! 
What do you Good think? Morning. Ron says, Chris did not know about this until we were watching. Thanks for oh surprising no. her. <laughs> we were so excited. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, that is. <laughs> Surprise, Christine. Yes, good morning and thank you. Thank you so much. They get to see wonderful wildlife in their home as well. And including I, mountain lions. Including mountain lions. I know they love um, that, that experience as we all do. Well, that's coming together very quickly. So, and I'll, I will probably, as I always do, kind of work on this. I might need to, in this case, tone the blue back a little bit, but it's really good to just get a sense of, all right, this first layer, what's it, what does it look like? Um, what is it telling us? Jen, we have Shep Thorne again commenting, I'm the proud owner of a gifted and treasured original Farnsworth. You are. Everyone needs a piece of her work in their lives, exclamation point. He so has, nice. I did as a surprise for him when he came to visit from Boston, a Dr. Bird, which is the national bird of Jamaica. It's a oh. hummingbird oh. with this extraordinary long tail. <laughs> well, we agree with you. Everybody should have a Farnsworth to brighten up their day. <laughs> Oh yes, and I must say that, that you do commissions. Yes, I do. So if somebody yes, likes Simba or any of these pieces in any variation, you do a lot of commissions. Well, you just finished up a commission. I did, for yes. the Griners. Yes, Who are right. with us this morning. So Jim, we also have some other paintings you brought today. Don't let me forget. Oh them. yes. When you're done here, yeah. we'll, we'll go over and you can talk about what's in the works. Great. Because at, at Run and W, Billy, I understand, just received a, a little coyote that's he, immature coyote with a leg injury, a foot injury. Probably he, won't be released. Probably not. And I know it's really touch and go right now with yeah. the little girl, and they're hoping, you know, fingers crossed. Whenever you get an injured animal in, you hope for the best, and we're all hoping this little girl makes it, and, and she's getting the best care possible, and um, so we couldn't, couldn't ask for more than that. So. And there again, the proceeds from this painting, $500 of which is going to go to help, the 250 specifically. To each, that's right. That's got to be a good feeling for you to know Oh, it feels you're great. Helping. It feels great. Well, these institutions do so much for us, and largely, I mean, unknown uh, that they're here doing yeah. all that yeah. they do. We have Tim Holcomb, guys. Very nice. Tim! <laughs> and Joel, Joel Peterson weighing in, looking hey, good. Hey, Joel, thank you. Joel good. With us. Thanks, guys. Good morning, Michigan and, and Prescott. So this is yeah. just kind of my first little light, first yeah. little uh, go of the background. That really makes this, it just pops this whole thing. Right it here. does. It just makes it, brings it forward. It does. I love that. And so you'll paint, will this be a gallery wrap? Or yep, so I'll paint around? the whole entire um, uh, edges and sides. And uh, this is going to get, for sure, some more tweaking. Yeah. And I'm going to talk to our, our dear friends, Ron and Christine, and see if they um, you know, like this concept of having a matched pair, or yeah. if they would like to do something a little different. Yeah, so. I do like this is a little bit lighter than this one, yes. so it's not exactly as mirrored exactly. in the same. But they're looking at each other, that's for sure. <laughs> they're very aware of each other. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, Jen, talk about these pieces yeah. you have over here, if you will. Sure. I love this coyote. So I, this is still wet, and um, I, I was a little self-conscious bringing it in because sometimes it's hard to envision where I'm going with the piece. They're sort of sitting in air. But you may remember that last fall, I did a pair of coyotes, it was the same pair, a big brother and a little sister, and I really enjoyed painting that painting, and um, I loved it. There are coyotes that I've been following for a couple years now, 
through the eyes and the storytelling of a photographer down in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the father coyote was killed, and so the mom had to raise these pups on her own, and there was a little runt girl and her big brother, and her big brother would stay with her by the den when all the other pups had gone away. So it's just such a, a tribute to the family orientation of coyotes, how they look out for each other. And in this one, mom is off hunting, and it's called Waiting for Mom. So they're oh, sitting there great. waiting for mom. So what kind of background and color are you envisioning on this? You know, I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, sometimes I'll do some mountains in the background. Sometimes I'll do a, a color blocks. I've got to continue to work on them and then hope that it's going to kind of it'll come evolve. to be. It'll evolve. I know it'll, it will. It'll, it'll be evolve. absolutely <laughs> stunning. So when will, when will we see this, you think? So I'm gallery? hoping to have that done in a couple of weeks. So I'm going to, this Perfect. is the one I'm working on right now. Perfect. And then that's our little bunny that's gotten a lot of attention. She's just yeah. a little baby. So it's called A Little Mischief. And you can just see a little mischief in her eyes. <laughs> you capture well, and you you rehab this rabbit, yes, so you and know she it was personally. Released. Yes, she yes. was one of our little girls that we um, that we nurtured back to health and then released, and she was happy and she and she did great. And then this deer here, I don't know if we still have that picture. I do. So you have to explain this. So many of you know that where I paint is outside on my patio, and there's a, the model. Yes, here uh, I paint outside on my patio, and there is, um, long before I moved to this house, a wildlife trail that goes right past my house. So it's kind of like the wildlife superhighway, and the forest abuts the house. So I have models, if you can see in this picture, there is a model for a painting, and I think they all want to be painted. <laughs> and that is a very common expression. I'm sure many people have seen it with the mule deer. When they see you, they just kind of give a look back, and that's what this depicts. And here we have someone coming up to see exactly what I'm painting and hoping it's them. <laughs> Boy, and, and talk about so, yeah, um, name. So this is Angelo. Angelo, okay. Yes. This is Angela. Jen, well, we have a comment from Joseph again, Joseph Zani, uh, back on the coyotes, saying those coyotes are incredible. <laughs> yeah. I can't get over your ability to capture the character of those yeah. animals, which is so <laughs> Thank true. Thank you. And I think Thank it's so, so poetic, much. too, that Billy just received that little immature the little female, one. Yes. and then you're working on this painting. So I envision this one on the left being a little female. That yes, yes. He's rehabbing as we and speak. And that could be Don Coyote. That's looking true. Looking out for yeah, her. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, Christmas yes, is coming, Christmas and so, <laughs> again, I can't thank you enough. We're thank so proud you. to have you in thank our gallery. You. You just thank you, Ron and Christine, and, yeah. and, and Jean and Bob, who are here. Jean yes. here, Bob's here in spirit. You, you make our lives so wonderful. <laughs> yes, you enrich us. So, yeah. next, next Friday, at back at Peterson's Creations, well, now, I keep calling it Peterson's Creations, is now, what is it called? The Bronze Age. Okay, so we're back to the Bronze Age following the last segment of Simba being patinaed by Eric and his artisans at his studio. So please come by or stand by, watch next Friday, and we love you guys. Thank you for chiming in, and we'll see you next week.